It is Man United and Brighton uh, round two of the Premier League season. Hey, guys, Carmen Bianco from wagertalk.com with a free play on this game. I'll get to it in a minute. Before I get there, do us a favor. Join the ever-growing community here at Wager Talk TV and hit that subscribe button. 164,000 subscribers and growing each and every day. Uh, hit that like button. Hit the notification button. You'll be alerted to any free play videos like these ones. And, of course, any uh, show that is going live with a ton of actionable info on our platform. All right, let's get to this game and then a little bit of business towards the end. But United travel to the Amex. Uh, the odds on this one, United plus 165 on the three-way line. The draw is plus 273. Brighton plus 149. Plus prices right across the board. The total sits at three shaded to the under, minus 115. Vig on that one. No play for me on the total on this one. Um, as this uh, this number, I think, is the books have it bang on in this one uh, in what could be a 2-1 final. You look, uh, United uh, traveling to the Amex to take on this Brighton side. Both teams opened with uh, wins. United 1-0 at home, Old Trafford uh, over Fulham. I'm going to get to the XG numbers on that one and Brighton's in a, in a, in a minute or two. Brighton 3-0 away winners at uh, Everton in the final season at Goodison Park. Now, if you look at both teams, and I mentioned uh, from a XG perspective, Man United 1.50 XG created in that game against Fulham. Fulham 0.16. It looked like they had chances. Uh, they weren't um, clear in, uh, scoring chances. The problem here is that United needed an 87th minute goal by uh, one of their new signees, Xerxes. Um, and that's somewhat troubling, the fact that for 87 minutes, they could not score. They finally broke through. They could have got uh, one to salt it away at 2-0, uh, a shot wide of the post uh, with an open net. If you had the handicap on that one, you're probably unhappy about how that one finished. And the one thing about this United team coming off a disappointing season, um, it was a season marred by injuries, is um, this season hasn't started off any better. Uh, injuries to their side. Probably the most important is their striker, Rasmus Holland. And um, he's not scheduled to come back until uh, the game against Southampton, which is on September 14th. That's when he's projected to come back, whether he makes it back in time for that game or not. So they're going to have to look to some of the other talent on this team uh, to get them uh, some scoring. And, and they might need it this weekend. And they're playing a Brighton team under a new manager, German uh, Herzler. Um, they looked pretty good at Everton, but you look at the XG number in that one, they created only 1.30 XG in that game to a 0.44 for Everton. They overperformed, obviously, on their XG number, um, but they did play as a better unit. Uh, if you go back to last season, they struggled under uh, Roberto De Zerbi. He's now gone and uh, managing in uh, France's League One. These two teams split last season's um, two games, both teams winning on the road. Um, Brighton winning at Old Trafford 3-1. United returning the favor, winning on uh, the final um, uh, home game for Brighton last season, 2-0 uh, for United in that one. And th that marked the fourth, uh, the fourth loss in five games at home to close out the season for this Brighton team. Now they had the murderer's row of teams that they had to play. In those five games, you look at it, they had to play Man City, Arsenal, two teams that were battling for the Premier League title. Uh, they, they lost to Chelsea. They beat uh, Aston Villa, a team that obviously finished near the top of the Premier League standings. And uh, they beat them 1-0 before losing to United 2-0. Uh, you look at this one and... Um, you know, despite that, uh, th this is a United team that I think has enough talent. Uh, when their injuries come back, they're going to be a better team. Now, do I want to play the three-way line? Likely not, because uh, a draw is possible in this game. I think this is one of those games that ends with a 2-1 scoreline. Uh, you can take the two-way line on this one. You can take Man United at a pick -em, minus 105. You're laying five cents juice. If this game ends in a draw, it's, uh, it's an obvious push. Uh, if United win, you obviously cash your bet. I think that's the better option here than taking the three-way line is having the insurance of a draw uh, on this one. So that's going to be the play for me. Man United, pick them, minus 105 on the two-way line. And if you want to sprinkle a little money on the Man United 
Uh, money line, go right ahead, plus 164. I always talk about on some of the shows, uh, putting a pizza slice on it. Um, that's what you can do. Uh, sprinkle a little bit on Man United, plus 165 to get the win at Brighton and try and uh, start this season at 2-0 um, and, uh, and make those United fans, those Reds, feel uh, a lot better about their team. Guys, final order of business here. Uh, it is our 10-year anniversary at Wager Talk. 10 years that Wager Talk has been around and growing each and every year. Uh, 30% off until Sunday on any daily package, any all-access package from one day to 365 days by using the coupon code 10YEAR. That is 10YEAR. Uh, head over to Wager Talk, use that coupon code, and you can use it as many times as you want. Fill your cart. And use 10 year to get 30% off any daily package. I've got full cards this weekend, MLS, EPL, uh, 5% play as well, too. And of course, the League's Cup, uh, third place game and finals go on Saturday, uh, or sorry, on Sunday as well, too. I'm on 11 and one all sports run, including nine and one, um, over the last seven days in baseball. So, um, it's not just soccer, it is baseball as well, too, or football as uh, we call it in Europe. Guys, for myself and the Wager Talk family, good luck with your wages, and we'll see you on the next free play video.